Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, I will be sharing with you all the article from the U.S. Sun that details uh, Melody's alleged request for psychiatric evaluation on Martel after some um, of his behavior at the kids' school as recent as December 2023. Now, be before we get into the details, I ask that you please hit the like button on this video, or even if you were to hit the dislike button, either one of those work the same, meaning that YouTube will push this video through its algorithm, recommending it to more people who do a love to converse about love and marriage Huntsville. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to show style and spirit. And certainly my opinions here, everything that I'm saying is my opinion and alleged and my fair use commentary on this article and its content, it is allowed thanks to the Copyright Act of 1976. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I do want to acknowledge other great content creators who have already covered this story today, including Shop Reality TV and Wente Talks. So I just did a simple Google search. I Googled Martel Holt psych Psychiatric Evaluation, and I found this article by the U.S. Sun. So let's go ahead and go through it together. So um, as I scroll down, of course, the, the news websites are filled with advertisements and will probably have pop-ups, perhaps. But the article says that um, Love and Marriage Huntsville's Martel Holt ordered to undergo psych evaluation after his ex-wife accuses him of, quote unquote, abusing the kids, allegedly. So now um, the article talks about, you know, Melody allegedly becoming concerned about his alleged erratic behavior and inappropriate treatment of their children. Also, there is mention of his recent behavior um, at the kids' school. So um, I will be paraphrasing and reading throughout the article. According to Alabama court documents exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun, Melody informed the court that the mental, psychological, and emotional stability of the father is an issue. The filing stated that based on the father's recent erratic behavior at the minor children's school, their practice, I'm assuming sports, we know that Mariah plays tennis, I'm sure the other kids are in sports as well, and other public places, as well as his inappropriate, unhinged, and erratic behavior towards the mother and the minor children, a thorough and complete mental examination and evaluation of the father is essential to the court's decision regarding important issues in this case regarding child custody and visitation. Also, allegedly his actions are detrimental to the physical, emotional, and mental well-being of the children, and there are fears that the children have already suffered emotional damage as a result of their dad's alleged irate and erratic behavior. This is very sad for me to report, and I wish that no one else has had to um, experience this. I don't want to hear about anyone getting divorced or getting abused, but especially children. In the same filing, um, allegedly Melody continued to say that uh, the ex, her, her ex-husband Martel, allegedly uses corporal punishment against the minor children. She gave an example going back to December the 11th, 2023, where he allegedly threatened to quote unquote, tear them up once their divorce case is over, referring to their minor kids and said in a separate filing from December 14th that he even offered to allow the children to be on the television show, Love and Marriage Huntsville, if he could use corporal punishment in the future. The former couple have four kids together, as we all know, and the TV personality also has another child uh, with Ariane. So um, those are the disturbing and sad details. Again, I wish that you know no one ever had to experience abuse, whether it is physical, mental, or even financial abuse. 
Um, I think that Melody, of course, has done the right thing by asking the courts for the psychiatric evaluation. And I'm pretty sure that this was another thing that led to him wanting to do the article, the interview with Tasha Kay. I'm sorry, just um, reading about the corporal punishment, it is giving me anxiety right now. And I just know that um, uh, the way that I was raised in a very strict household, my dad is from Alabama. I individually, I've never had a whooping, but I always knew about the whooping. I was, you know, I would get threatened with it. If I was, I guess, being a little whiny, if I was crying or because I really wasn't like this, you know, bad mouth child. But I guess if I was crying a little too much, you know, there was the threat of it, you know, or I guess being a little whiny or getting on someone's nerves. And so uh, just the fear of the whooping that that did a number on me. So just the thought of someone getting corporal punishment, it just, it seems like a lot. So I feel like Melody has totally done the right thing to get the psych psychiatric evaluation. Um, what I found to be very interesting was that there has been some um, erratic behavior allegedly at the children's school. So I instantly thought of potential witnesses. I wonder, has anyone come forward is there any cell phone video? Did any other parents see this behavior and reported it to the principal, the teachers? So, um, and, and, and even at the kids practice as well, I think of witnesses, cell phone video, some sort of evidence that could uh, corroborate the claims in the court documents. But I'm so glad that the judge saw this as serious as it is to order the psychiatric evaluation. And then we'll have to see, you know, what goes on from here. So, um, you know, if you are spiritual and you are comfortable praying, definitely pray for Melody and her kids for God's divine protection over them and for her favor um, in the legal system. Um, I hope that you all are having a good day. If for some reason it has been rocky, I am sorry to hear that, but I hope that you have a much better day tomorrow. I thank you for watching this video. I ask that you please hit the like button on this video and then it'll get more of the video out to more people who may want to talk about this subject. You know, let me know your thoughts. You know, if uh, do you see limits when it comes to spanking children? You know, are you not for adding things like belts, extension cords, just your hand or certain scenarios, certain parents? Um, certainly, let's talk about this because there has to be boundaries, obviously. All right. Thanks again for watching this video. And I will talk with you all soon. Take good care. Goodbye.